Mistake number three, quitting and dialing back on your extracurricular and co-curricular commitments. So one of the things that can happen is when you start year 11, all of a sudden, you know, it gets serious. And so the pressure may build, whether or not it's from family, friends, school, the broader community, to start focusing on school. You know, it's dialing back and, and really quitting the other commitments you have in your life so that you can do more work for school. And while a lot of this may be well-meaning, this can actually be a huge mistake. Now, one of the things we've observed from all of our research over the last decade with high-performing students is that all of them so, so often come to us and say, you know what, what was so critical for me in actually maintaining my energy levels, my mental health, my well-being, and avoiding burnout was the fact that I maintained all these other activities in my life. It was the fact that I kept on doing dance or sport, or I kept my casual job, you know, or that I volunteered. Um, by doing all of that, it actually enabled me to get the perspective, uh, to get the release, so that when I was coming in and doing work, I was at my best. Now, there's a couple of other reasons at play here as well. There's something known as Parkinson's Law. Parkinson's Law basically says that work expands to fill available time. So if you quit all your extracurriculars and all of a sudden you have lots of time, the theory right is that you will study more. But in fact, what Parkinson's law explains is that you end up just procrastinating more. The work that you have takes longer uh, to do and so you don't actually get more done, you just do the same amount of work in a longer period of time. And that was certainly something that we've seen as well from all of our interviews with high performing students who had so many commitments. They all sort of shared that by having those other commitments, it forced them to use the time they had highly efficiently and to stay focused so they would get more out of their time. Now a final reason why this is such a mistake is that Ultimately, uh, research also shows, uh, you know, from some leading universities, particularly, um, that, uh, you know, actually keeping these other commitments in your life, exercising, playing sport, music, also improve your cognitive performance. They improve your memory, right? They improve your ability to stay focused academically. That's going to be huge because ultimately, 11 and 12 is an academic journey that you need to make. So. Mistake number three is to quit all of these. Instead, what we recommend is use year 11 to actually work out how you manage them. You know, to work out what your plan will be for your study each week, how you'll schedule these activities in, how you'll balance them with your study commitments. So that then when you start year 12, you have a plan, you know how to do it, and you can maintain these commitments so you don't burn out, you stay healthy, and importantly, you also operate at your best academically.